everyone. My name is Sasha, and I'm the owner of Afro Pro Studios. We are a doll photography and stop motion animation studio. So I am doing a series about helping people do doll photography. I'm still fairly new, but I have learned a few tips and tricks along the way. Um, one thing that I wanted to show y'all was the different kinds of dolls that are available now. Uh, I know a lot of people that are getting into this might be around my age or a little older. So the doll game has changed since we were kids. <laughs> so I'm going to just start with the basics and move up. This is a basic five point of articulation doll. What five points means is one, two, three, four, and five with the neck. So the shoulders can move hips can move out so when they sit they sit like this um can't really do a lot of hand motion but it's still really good for photography if you're just starting out if you don't have you know you don't want to put a lot of money into the dolls you can get dolls like this at like dollar tree or something like that this one is a barbie doll that came with uh four or five other dolls in the eco um set uh but yeah she's still posable ish enough to do some photography with and i do do photography like this with five point articulate dolls outside uh because they are cheaper um my dolls that are articulated do cost more so there there's a price point difference with these kinds of dolls next up we have the partially articulated doll this is not a barbie doll this is a uh Dream Ella Forever Mini Iconic doll. I want to say that that's right. It might just be Dream Ella Mini Iconic. Um, but she is significantly smaller than a regular doll. Um, I want to say she's like close to a Chelsea size doll if we're in the Barbie world. Um, maybe a little taller than a Chelsea doll. Uh, she's six inches tall. This is her compared to a regular Barbie. Um, Barbies of this magnitude are usually 11 to 12 inch dolls. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. So, what I mean by partial artic articulation, so she can bend her knee, she can move the shoulders, she can move the elbow, but we can't move the hands, and the neck is just back and, back and forth, not up and down. I'll show you later about the ones that can go up and down. But if you want to add different um, dolls to your collection or to your photography, you can very well do so. This would be a doll that you use for one six scale photography. Um, and no, I'm sorry, one 12 scale photography. And these dolls um, would be one six scale. So the next doll, this is a Ann Lily doll. Uh, this is not a Barbie doll. And she is fully posable. So she has the shoulder, elbow, and wrist, along with she does not have the up and down motion in the head with side to side. Um, her knee does move. And her feet are like the OG Barbie feet where they're like sloped. So I just have her in some heels to balance her out when she's standing so that's what I mean by posable or articulated same thing like posable and articulated are the same thing you will run into some dolls that have even more partial articulation um like they'll have it in their upper body but not in the knees or in some cases they'll have it in the knees and not in the upper body just to let y'all know that that can happen all right next we have uh more articulation so i guess this doll would be articulation column a this is doll articulation column b um so she has ankle articulation and chest articulation so this part can move back and forth and even her head can move back and forth up and down she can look forward up all that type of stuff so you can do a lot of photography with dolls that, of course, are more articulated because they can do more motion. Um, there's even a step above this, in column C, goodness. Um, so what makes this different is that this doll's arm can move in this direction here, and this can move here in this little socket. So uh, still got the ankles moving, still got the knees. And then the knees are split up in 
two different parts. Um, let me see if I can get, yeah. So the knees are split up in two different parts. You saw that with the of uh, the column B doll, but this is just a little bit more pronounced because this is a thicker doll. Um, but yeah, so those are the dolls that are available out there if you're trying to get into doll photography or even stop motion. Yeah, I hope this was very helpful today. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, uh, you can leave them down below and I'll be happy to answer them. So I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all.